Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of July 2021 and this is a general reading. Click what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay. Also Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Sagittarius, uh, this reading has an extended reading and if you are interested in the same, if you are excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person, you can go ahead and check out the extended reading. The link for the same is provided in the description box. The link for the same is provided in the comments section. You can click on that link and it will lead you to the extended reading on Vimeo platform. Make sure you follow me on Vimeo just the way you follow me on YouTube. Now, as far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here, Sagittarius, and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. And that's how we are going to wind up this reading. So, Sagittarius, let's get started now. So we have judgment, then we have is king of cups, then we have is uh, seven of wands, ten of wands for your person, the empress, then we have is three of swords, mutual energy is that of four of swords and knight of swords, okay. So Sagittarius, you may be dealing with another Sagittarius with Libra, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, I'm also hearing Scorpio. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Number three is of some importance. You may be seeing a lot of 333. Three, three. You may be seeing 1111. 11. <clears throat> all right. So, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, whether consciously or subconsciously, you were manifesting something desperately. Your mind, your body and your soul was manifesting someone, something. Your mind, body, uh, body, soul was calling someone or something. Okay. Uh... And what I'm hearing is that your manifestation, your desire to have that person or the, your desire to have that situation in your life was so strong that universe has surrendered to your strong willpower to have someone or something in your life. Okay, whatever you want, whatever you are manifesting consciously, subconsciously is going to become a reality. Okay, you were manifesting something very strongly. There was something that you really and badly wanted in your life. Something or someone you really and badly wanted in your life. And the judgment day is nearby. What I'm hearing is that whatever you wanted is coming in your life and it is coming in your life to give you that immense happiness to show you that unconditional love exists, to show you love and care, okay, and also to give you some learnings, that's what I'm hearing, okay. As far as uh, love is concerned, yes, either you are very strongly in love with someone or someone is badly in love with you, okay? Take how it resonates. What I'm getting is that the energies are very strong 
from your cards, Sagittarius, what I am sensing is your manifestation energy was very strong and universe is fulfilling your wish universe is turning your manifestations into reality okay you have that strong willpower inside you your determination to have something or someone is very strong at the same time when it comes to love you really badly you are in love with someone badly and madly you are in love with someone or someone is badly and madly in love with you so again the emotion of love is very strong over here so what i'm sensing is that the how you feel things inside you okay you feel them very intensely i am also hearing that probably you have strong presence of scorpio in your chart okay uh mars is also very strongly present in your chart scorpio and aries probably is very strongly present uh, present in your chart okay uh right now you are on a journey sagittarius and the journey is to overcome the emotional turmoil that keeps on happening inside you especially in your love relationships and you are learning to conquer that emotional instability you're learning to come out as a victorious person you are you are taking it uh, taking it as a challenge and you are heading in the direction where very soon you're going to achieve that emotional stability inside you Uh, emotions is a very uh, what shall i say a prominent feature you you are a very highly emotionally driven person okay you uh, whatever you feel again i want to say this again and again i would say this and i will insist on this point that whatever you feel you feel it very strongly inside you whether it is love whether it is happiness whether it is uh uh anger whether it is hatred whether it is disappointment whether it is satisfaction whichever emotion you feel you feel it very very intensely and you are working on uh because what happens sometimes the intensity uh gives you extreme happiness but then the intensity if you're feeling angry it also makes you extremely it also makes you very angry uh, if you're sad it also gives you that extreme sadness so there is a lot of uh, extreme feelings that you feel and you are working in that direction that's what i see with that judgment card next to your king of uh, cups i can clearly feel that uh you are very soon you are about to achieve that emotional stability inside you okay and you are consciously working on that if not subconsciously you are working on that but you are aware about it i'll not say i'll not quote it as a problem but then you don't want your emotions to go you don't want your emotional chart to be up and down and up and down and up and down you want to feel that emotional stability right so uh i i will definitely not i'll i'll definitely not say that this is a problem this is not at all a problem but such a big highs and low in emotional in your emotions it also sort of disturbs your life in general right with that seven of wands uh, yeah sorry before that uh, with the king of cups i can see that Sagittarius someone is in love with you. Okay? Someone is badly in love with you. Yes, you can also be in love with someone. But if this is someone else who is in love with you, they are crazy about you. And uh, you may be aware about this person, you may not be aware about this person, but I'm sensing that this is someone new. And they are very very crazy about you. Let me tell you that. Uh this person is a bit obsessed about you. they love watching you from far away this person keeps on stalking you they stalk you over the social media 
they stalk you otherwise also this person is aware about your schedules whenever you step outside your home what do you do where do you go etc uh, it says it is highly likely that you don't know who are they okay but very soon I see that they may approach you with the seven of wands I feel uh, there is an internal conflict Sagittarius that you're facing and the internal conflict is about whether you want to stay and wait for your past person more or whether you want to move on okay I am also sensing that you are learning to stand up for yourself especially in front of those people who were trying to pull you down I'm hearing family members I'm hearing friends okay so with the ten of wands and the empress now let's see let's check the cards of your person Sagittarius ten of wands empress and three of swords your person first of all thinks that you are someone who is out of the league you are uh, a very abundant person you are a very independent person and especially if you're a female watching this they they don't like you being so independent you are independent you do things on your own you're financially independent you're not codependent on anyone why they don't like this is because they lack something inside them okay and they are projecting that onto you if they don't like you being independent okay this person really needs to calm down now okay so uh they don't like your independence because they probably have codependency issues or they are struggling to become independent and when they see you they automatically compare you uh, they automatically compare themselves with you and that's why that's where they see that they lack something big time okay and that's why they don't like you being so independent so they like you they love you okay but they know that they have to work on themselves before they can come towards you and this is not something easy it is it is challenging it is it is big challenge for them okay they are carrying certain uh, they are having a lot of weaknesses okay they really need to work on themselves and they are very well aware about it at the same time probably for some of you they this person is a player and they know that they end up hurting people okay but there are a lot of realizations that are happening over your Sagittarius and if this person is meant to come back to you they will have to work on themselves and then they will have to come back to you but I'll be honest over here that this person is gonna take they are gonna take some time this person will take some time to work on themselves because they are a, they are someone who is a habitual heartbreaker they know whatever they do they break someone's heart they know that okay and they are working on that they don't like breaking someone's heart but they know that they eventually they will break someone's heart and when it comes to you they are thinking that you deserve someone better that's what they are thinking they they know that you deserve someone better and <clears throat> I am getting a feeling Sagittarius that when they start thinking about you they like you but at the same time they also start feeling they also start feeling insecure inside them they also start having certain guilty feelings inside them okay so they're struggling to there is a lot of there is a lot of struggle that is going on in their life they're struggling to work on their on their insecurities they're struggling to work on their uh, on whatever regrets they have when it comes to uh, when it comes to this relationship okay they are really struggling in that area they're working on that but they're struggling as of now because they very recently they have started working on that in the meantime they are definitely thinking that you deserve someone better and I'm also sensing I'm also hearing that someone new is popping up in your life and don't worry even if this new person is a bit crazy about you they are gonna love you they will make you happy because eventually when both of you will know one another when both of you will uh, you know the, I'm talking about the new person 
uh, when both of you will understand one another when both of you will start going out on dates uh, I think so there will be a mutual liking there will be uh, you know there will be this urge to spend time with this or time with one another for some of you I'm also sensing that this may also turn into marriage okay but this person even if you go back in their life this person will be I mean even if you get into a relationship with this person they are going to remain crazy about you this person is going to be very very crazy about you okay and then probably once you get into a relationship after two to three years they will start disclosing what all crazy stuff they have done uh, before meeting you like they were stalking you they had uh, you know they had recorded you and all that stuff they will show you their recordings but this will happen after after two three years of the relationship okay so the mutual energy is that of four of swords and knight of swords yes someone is popping up in your life you are manifesting someone or something someone is coming in your life love life is getting back into action something is bothering you either your past person is bothering you or a family situation is bothering you something is bothering you but don't worry whosoever is going to enter in your life they will make you happy they will remove you out of this bothersome situation okay whether it is a past person whether it is a new person you are going to experience happiness all over again okay all right i hope this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below also if you are interested you can go ahead and check out the extended reading the link for the same is provided in the description box the link for the same is provided in the comment section you can check that out okay till then bye bye and see ya